Dylan's dad never recovered from 9-11, and he ended up leaving the family. My mom was basically my mom and dad growing up. And even back then, everybody wanted to beat Dylan up. But every time I would try to go take the bus home from school, all his friends would wait outside and try to jump me or try to like put me or try to play me. And I would get messages like, we're gonna kill you, like, we're gonna oh, find no. you. They were saying like some crazy sh And I was like, this is scary, you know? Like, I don't wanna get jumped. They would try to grab me before I got onto the bus and I was like, I can't deal with this every day. I'm not gonna be scared for my sure. life. There was like tens of kids. And then I had a best friend at the time, but he was a wrestler. And I called him and I was like, dude, I've never been in a fight before. I was like, what the f do I do? <laughs> I was like, I need your help. He was like, take him down and choke him. I was like, I, was like, I don't know how to do that. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, just take him down. And I ended up watching like a UFC, like I think I, I bootlegged it on the computer and it was the same period of Sarah and he was taking him down. And I ended up you know, watching MMA and seeing how effective Grissy was. And Dylan finally confronted the bully. So what happened was I took him down and I put on like a rear naked choke and then like he tapped, you know, and everybody was like, what the f is that? This is not funny. He fighting. actually tapped. Yeah, like, he tapped. And I was like, I need to start training because I need to protect myself. And I saw there was a gym by my house. I went to go train and I never stopped. I never like, really went out. I didn't really have any friends. I just trained all day, three times a day. I didn't even care about school. I, say I hated school. I just wanted to train all day. I used to have folders with the moves on it, and I would just stay in class and look at the moves. Wow. Yeah. There's also a jiu-jitsu legend that Dylan would watch on YouTube. Marcel is just so freakish. Incredible technique and aggression. Perfect timing and perfect positioning. He's so good. And I was just like, OK, I'm going to go to Marcel's like once a week or twice a week. So my mom got me like a train pass. Damn. And by myself, I was like 17 going into the wow. city. Yeah. He was just coming visiting me. I uh, Dylan, he is such a good kid. He tries so hard. Every time I see him compete, I, I got like a surprise how much better he gets each time he, he's out there. Every day, that's all I thought about. It's not crazy for someone that wants it, you know? Now, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter about anything. I just say, man, like, just go for it. My mom supported me because she saw what I wanted. I always told her, like, at the end of the day, if I don't make it, I'll sleep in the gym and I'll, I'll do anything to make it to, to where I want to be, you know? And I, I just don't want to be waste that talent. So I, I maybe end up pushing him more because I know he has a big potential. I don't want to stop where he are. Your run that you had when you were a brown belt is legendary. Yeah, I won't, legendary. I think it was two years I almost went undefeated. Like, I didn't lose a match. Yeah. You know what I mean? I won the world four times. As you guys do, like, uh, it's so hard to have a good example. And Marcel was like my dad. That's yeah, that's Pops. Yeah. And he poured so much into you, I can imagine for years. I grew up getting better in Jiu Jitsu, but um, keep getting better person because everybody needs a good example, especially like a, a Jesus. And when I first started going to Marcelo, and Marcelo was my idol, like, I literally just watched him on the whole time. And, and Marcelo actually taught me, like, what it is to be a real, like, man and treating people right and doing the right things sometimes. It's more important than just submitting people. The only thing I ever thought of was just listening to what he says. I, I literally been listening to everything he says, and it's got me where I am. So, you know, I'm just going to follow his guidance until the end, you know? But for Dylan and Marcelo, that end would come sooner than expected.